Hello everyone, welcome back to Eternal Midnight. I'm here with Chad. What's up, man? Hey, what's up, man? And welcome back to Christmas and Crime. And today, for Christmas, we're covering a certain superhero movie, a very Christmassy superhero movie. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Well, I mean, this is Christmas and Crime, isn't it? I mean, technically, because, like, you know, Kingpin... <laughs> Is doing evil criminal things, so yeah, I guess it's both. So, where do you think, man? I mean, like, Chad, what do you think of Into the Spider Verse? Into the Spider Verse is the best Spider Man movie. Oh, yeah, like, hands down. I mean, that's that is almost one of those things that, like, it goes without saying. Yeah, like, that's why it's almost like whenever we discuss like superhero stuff and we talk, like, what's the best Spider Man movie, you almost always need to, like, reiterate okay like what's your favorite live action spider-man yeah. movie because into the spider-verse is always like the top because it this is a- movie like it, it it's funny for like years people were always you know like oh sony doesn't know what they're doing with spider-man and then we get this and it's like where did this where, come where from? did this come from right. like, this is the same animated studio that made the emoji movie and now we're getting isn't that terrifying to think? Yeah. <laughs> they gave us one of the worst animated movies, worst, like, scripted animated movies ever. I mean, the CGI looked good for the Emoji movie, but it's like, that was one of the worst, like, story scripts writing ever. Yeah. And then we get this, which is yeah. just, like, brilliant across the board. Yeah, it really is. Really, really is. It's an amazing movie. Not and it was, movie. it was... Awesome. It was ballsy too. The fact that it was like, the fact that they went with Miles as the main character was like, that's probably what I love about it. That's one of my favorite things about it is it's like, it's not just another Peter Parker story. Like yeah. we got, we got Peter in it, but I mean this it's it's Miles' origin and it was told so well. And I still hope one day we can get a live action Miles' origin story. Oh yeah, I I really want Miles' origin story, and I I I love Into Spider Verse because it's the first time we're not seeing a Peter Parker story. It's a it's a Miles story, and it, it, it's amazing. I mean, like I mean, like, the icing on the cake here is the fact that this movie kicked Incredibles two's ass in the Oscars. <laughs> and it, I mean, the, not even a contest because Incredibles two was trash. <laughs> but like, if if you really look at it, I mean. I don't know how the directors managed to balance all these Spider-Man in one movie. Like everyone got their screen time right. Everyone got their shine. Everyone got it. And the action, the action's insane. Like when when they're fighting all the villains, like you know, Prowler, Scorpion, Tombstone, Do- Dr. Olivia Octavius, they're all like, it's all well done. It's like a comic book. It's like a, it's like watching a comic book come to life mm-hmm. in front of your eyes. And, then, I and- Speaking of what you just said, the animation on this movie is top notch. Beautiful. I love the style they went with. Oh, yeah. It, I, I, I love that detail they put that uh, Miles' frame rate is not, is not um, up to speed with the rest. But as he gets to like, the very end, he gets, he gets on par, which means like, he's, he's getting better and like, he's, he, he becomes Spider Man. I think. I, that, did not know that. I'll well, hey, another excuse to rewatch it, and I'll keep an eye on that. <laughs> yeah, because it's insane. It's insane how much this movie, um, how much care and time they put into this movie. Well, it's not often you also see movies that have different animation styles in them, like Penny, extreme anime design. Yeah, uh, Spider Ham obviously like the old warner brothers cartoon or not Warner, like the old uh old old days of cartoons and whatnot yeah uh, uh scorpion almost all cgi across the board where everybody else like was was still dancing that fine line yeah exactly and i, I mean like it's i mean like it, it's also it, it's pretty bossy because like i love the jokes here the jokes always land I, when i when i rewatch it the jokes always land when miles goes up to the building and um, it's like, I'm going to jump. Yeah, no, it's too high. I'm going to go to the other one. He goes back down and he goes back up. <laughs> like, like, yeah, you know, it's, I understand where, that, where you're coming from there. And the best joke ever when 
Chris Pine, Peter Parker is like, well, you know, I uh, I did this, and it shows like the animated version of, <laughs> of Peter Parker doing the Spider-Man three dance. That's awesome. That's awesome right there. I think my favorite will always be um, the hand on the shoulder. Hey. Hey. Because <laughs> I love how when he does it to Gwen, and then I love how it's like this joke that's like been like, you know, the punchline the whole movie yeah. is like what saves Miles at the end of the movie when fighting King Ben. Yeah, exactly. And I I I love also, you know, scene stealer, game stealer, movie stealer, Spider Gwen. I love Spider Gwen. Haley she was great. As Spider Gwen is one of the most awesome characters put in a superhero movie and I want to see more of her. I want to see more. I, I heard they were going to be doing a spin-off movie with her and oh. like a bunch of female spider heroes characters. I so hey, go for it. Give it to me. If it's written and taken care of as much as this movie was, give it to me. I want more. I mean like and like even the detail on her like suit. I mean like I, I didn't catch it the first two times but someone pointed it out like spider Gwen, like when they're all testing mouse and like what can he do what can he do like can he do this and this like gwen says can you flip and flip and um gwen says can you flip and and spin with the grace of a ballet dancer and then like it and someone pointed out if you look at her shoes it's ballet shoes so implying that 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 that's what she was talking about she's a ballet dancer also like oh wow dude i didn't even know that like the, the amount of detail that, that, that they put in is insane. You know, it, it's like I'd heard of Spider Gwen before this movie, but I'd never seen it. And when I saw her, like, she truly has like some of the, like the best colors that complement each other for like a superhero outfit. I think. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, There's something about like the white, the black, the pink, and then those like aquamarine colored shoes are just oh, they're yeah, perfect. That, yeah, it's it's brilliant, and I I, I also. The, uh, this movie, this movie really has heart. I mean, like tons of it. I mean, like having it take place during Christmas is like a really a nice, like not like oh it's just December, it's cold, and everyone's like um, bundled up, and then I hear the Spider Man swinging around, the, swinging around Manhattan. But like, but like um, one of the things I really like is like Miles and his relationship with his dad. You know, his um, Miles. Um, you, you said your favorite scene was like Miles is tied up and. His dad was like talking to him, like, hey, you know, uh, uh, something happened. And then, like, you have this, you have this spark in you, and it's amazing. And whatever you choose to do, that, if we, you know, you'll be great. You know, you'll be great. You'll be amazing at it. And I love that because um, Miles has basically got the acknowledgement. He, he always got one, you know. You agree or not? If we were ever to make a video, where we were talking about like top five scenes that like emotionally hit us or can like get us to cry or something. Yeah. This scene would be on that list because it's oh, like, yeah. without going too far into my personal life, I can majorly relate to what Miles and his dad were going through. And to like, it, it's almost heartbreaking seeing Miles sitting there, having to listen to his dad, like pour his heart out and wanting to talk to his son and Miles not being able to, and having to just listen to like almost the heartbreak his dad is going through yeah. and him not answering. It's, 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 it's hard to watch, but it's like, that's it's what's like hitting Miles when he's doing it. It's like, he wants that relationship with his dad still. It was such a great scene. What easily probably my that's favorite of the whole movie. Um, heartbreaking scene. My favorite scene is actually the scene after. Uh, when he puts on the suit, you know, and like he's becoming Spider-Man. Like, and he says, like you hear the monologue of all the people like who, who who has touched his life and you hear Uncle Aaron who we'll get to later um, as the prowler like Uncle Aaron says you know uh, you're the best of all of us Miles yeah, you're on your way and then um, the, the, what, he, what he hears before before jumping off the building is when do I know I will be Spider-Man and Peter Parker says you don't it's a leap of faith Mm -hmm. And he jumps and he swings, and that's and, and that's already amazing in itself. But later, the callback, you know, because like we get a Peter Parker who's like depressed and sad and fat because, um, which we've never seen before, of, um, afraid to go back. I think this whole time Peter Parker says, you know, I want to do it. I want to stay here and you know just die from the dimensional sickness that I have, and um, 
and I'll be okay. It's okay. And then, but when that, that scene always gives me goosebumps and always makes me want to cry. The only, like one of the few times I wanted to cry in a super movie. When Miles has Peter by the collar and says, we gotta go home, man. We gotta go home. And, like, and Peter's like, how do, I know I won't mess it up again. And Miles says, you don't. And Peter's like, yeah, you're right. It's a leap of faith. I was like, oh my God. It's like, where I've never seen that in a superhero movie ever. Like that amount of heart and passion. Like, wow. And wow. again, this is coming from the studio that made like, has made superhero movies that people like hate. It's yeah. like, where, where was this? Where was where, this? Where was this, where was this talent, this writing? Where was this all? I, I, I have no, I have no answer for you. I really don't. I, it's insane how much care has been put into this movie. It is really insane. And I, I, I even like, I, I even like, okay, I had no idea. Like, I really didn't know anything about Miles Morales until I watched movie, watched this movie. So I had no idea his uncle Aaron was up, was the prowler. So that reveal of like, that, 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 that super scary reveal, like the, he removes the mask and like, yeah, don't worry, you know I will never quit. And that that music that ta -da, ta -da, like, oh shit oh shit that's another thing about this movie amazing soundtrack oh yeah From both, so many so many damn good songs in this movie both score and soundtrack is amazing yeah it's a really amazing and I, and I I I love like the memory I've had this movie because I I drove four hours to just watch this movie with my friends in a cinema wow. Christmas time. And it was worth every hour I watched because it was such a damn good film. There was like My memory of seeing it in theaters was I was not going to see it. I don't know why. And then James was like, no, you need to go see it. And I was like, it was like a Saturday morning. I was bored. I'm like, all right, I guess I'll go see Spider-Verse. And it was like... A day or two later, I like dragged my best friend to see it. I'm like, you are seeing this movie. I was like, this was amazing. Oh my God. I watched this movie twice. It was really fun. It was really funny. Like, 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 um, <laughs> and even my best friend, Josh was like, after he walked, walked out, I was like, that was one of the best fucking Spider-Man movies ever. Like, Aquaman, get the fuck out of here. Like that. <laughs> I was like, yeah, well. When you compete against Spider Verse, there's like no winning there because it is really amazing. And you know, you know, we've never talked about yet. Nick Cage as Spider Noir. He is mm -hmm. one of some of the best liners. Like he he makes the story overly exaggerated. Like sometimes I let my mat the match just burn down through my fingertips to feel something, anything, anything at all. <laughs> that was hilarious. Uh I mean, like, what? Or what is it? Another emotional scene. We were we were talking about emotional scenes. When um, uh, Penny's when Penny's uh, robot gets destroyed and she's like looking at it as it's like dying, making its like dying face on its oh, yeah. like, hologram screen or whatever. Yeah. It's like, and it was like, it, uh, like all the emotion was conveyed in her face, like through typical anime style. It was like, no, Penny lived, but she lost her dro her, her droid. <laughs> <laughs> and I love that. I, I love honestly the way everyone says goodbye. Like they're all hanging by the, the ledger and like um uh <laughs> spider ham's like I want you to have this. It'll fit in your pocket. Gives him the giant hammer. <laughs> and then even the way he says goodbye to Gwen's like um that, that, that touched my heart when 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 Miles said, you know, uh uh see you around Spider Man, not for a long time. And then Miles like, Well, Einstein said time is relative, right? <laughs> maybe we will see call it. back <laughs> like oh dude and it's and it's so fitting it is so fitting that miles faces kingpin alone like there's no other spider-man left it's miles alone with kingpin and mm -hmm. he's like and kingpin's backstory too is amazing like like in that in that in that one shot like like kingpin's pen is clicking and you see like the photographs like oh my gosh like well remember that you remember that scene like oh my gosh! Like like in, in like in like a minute or like in thirty seconds, they told they made Kingpin a compelling character to like mm -hmm. to like watch, and then him like drawn in like over dramatic way of like him being this hulking mass of 
Like, I don't even know how that so like, He was like the blob, basically. Yeah. With a tiny little baby's head. But it's like another character I really thought was good, and I I want more of her. What? Um, Octavius. Oh, yeah. Olivia Octavius. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, dude, I want more of this character. I, I honestly really liked her. Yeah. She was a really good Octavius. I didn't, you know, I went in this movie blind. I really didn't know what, like, they didn't show a lot in the trailer at all. So, like, I didn't, I didn't know that Octavius was going to be in this movie. Like, I, I, when she said her name, like, Dr. Olivia Octavius, and then she, she dropped her, like, lab coat, and you, the arms would come out, like, oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Yeah, I wanted to ask, um, what, what, was there ever an iteration where Doc Ock was a female, or... No, I don't think so. But I think so they so they made that up for this movie. So that was so, so like that took everyone by surprise, right? Yeah, that was insane. It I it took me by surprise. I was like, okay, this scientist is being a little overly excited for Spider Man, and then suddenly, like you said, she whips off the lab coat and the arms come out. I'm like, oh, we got a female Doc Ock. This is awesome. <laughs> it, it, also, there's like there is a one of the jokes that I really love as well. Is uh, when Miles is carrying both the computer and the CPU, and he, and he comes like, Peter comes like, okay, I have good news for you. We don't, we don't need the monitor. <laughs> and then he just gets hit by one of her arms. Yeah. And, and you know, we haven't talked about it, but I love Peter Parker in this movie. It's a very real. Oh, Peter B. Yeah, we, we've never seen Peter B. Parker like this. We've. See Peter Parker, like a loser Parker. version, basically. Very, like he's crying in the shower. We're just like, <laughs> <laughs> and he's eating, and he's overweight, and he's like, like and even, even his boss was like, I'm sitting there in my apartment doing push-ups, getting strong, and like you can see, him, like he's just eating pizza. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and like even, even, even his conversation with Mary Jane at like the party. Was it was so amazing? Like, yeah, you know, this place needs more bread. I was never there for you. I'm sorry, <laughs> dude. I thought the dynamic between Peter B. and Miles was like, oh yeah, perfect. because it was like he did absolutely nothing but keep vouching for Miles and pushing him, even to that point where it's like he was holding him, um, because he was like, you know. You know, I'm taking the goober. You have to stay here. Yeah. And he's like giving him his like absolute final chance. He's like, go invisible now, and you can come with us. And he doesn't do it. And he's like, you're not ready. You're yeah, not coming he, with us. He he's want, like, you're gonna get killed. Because he doesn't want. Because he he cares for Miles. That's like, what I mean. It's the dynamic between Peter B and Miles was perfect, and it showed how much. Peter like had grown to like love this kid and he's like now I, you know I'm the mentor I'm teaching the new Spider-Man of this dimension how to do things it was perfect I mean like, what are the errors I mean like, are there any negatives at this movie at all I can't find any I have none ah <sighs> so I mean like we can Peter like what, what else will have to be covered we covered Spider-Ham Noir Gwen the arms of Dr. Olivia Octavius, Miles himself, um, Miles' dad, Peter B. Parker, and of course the holiday season itself, Christmas. I mean, like, did you like the Christmas visuals? Like when it was all like, you know, snowing and all the colors were shown and all that. Like the art yeah. was amazing. I mean, Definitely. Like, I mean, I guess that's it. I mean, like we, we've, we've covered everything. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's pretty, it's a pretty perfect movie almost yeah I've so it's like there's hard. really nothing I, I i've got no negatives and it's like it's just one of those films it's like every time we talk about it, i just want to go watch it again even though i like just finished watching it like less than 48 hours ago i almost want to throw it on again yeah me too uh so i i, I guess it's it i mean like uh this has been another episode of christmas and crime and it was a unique one because um, Into the Spider-Verse is not necessarily a, a Christmas-themed movie, but it has Christmas around it, so I do like it a lot. So, Definitely. this has been Santino, signing off. And I'm Chad. 
I'm out.